On today's episode, we're going to be talking about trips and the traveling and planning that goes toward them. Hello people of the world and YouTube fam. My name is Kevin Jackson and welcome to this latest episode of Kevin's Light Mangus, Friendship and Love. So we just started off the new year and I started thinking about what topic should I talk about? What event in my life should I talk about? And the thing that was most prevalent, um, the thing that was on the forefront was just trips and trips in general. Um, we just got like a uh, past few trips that I went on and my friends went on and they were a little bit rough and a little bit shaky. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. But if we flash, I would say back, uh, you know, to my first trip that I went on by myself or my first vacation that I, full vacation that I went on by myself, spending money on hotels, planning out the places I would go, um, things of that nature. I would say that's probably um, fall of 2017. Um, that's, you know, right before I was about to start um, school again. Uh, I had, it was the summer when I finished my first year of college and beginning my second year. Um, and there were a couple other trips that, like small trips I did before that. I did go to CES, but, every, but you know, things like that was planned for me. Like they had the whole itinerary um, planned out. All I had to do was just pay for it. Um, this trip was fully on my own. And, and it was just my first vacation away from home um, um, for like an extended period of time. I never had that before. You know, there was like school trips and stuff like that, but my, my family never really took a full vacation, you know, um, to go somewhere um, and to really relax. Um, so for this one, I went to San Francisco. I went there two years prior for visiting colleges. Um, but in this one, but this time I actually wanted to go around and do all the touristy spots and take a look at everything that was, um, you know, all the, uh, everything that was going on in museums and things of that nature. And also to visit my college friends at the time. So I go ahead and uh, was working at Best Buy at the time. I went ahead and bought some flights. So I bought some flights um, and the hotel and everything over there. And it was just a beautiful experience. I fell in love with the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and I went there the next year again just because I, I, couldn't, get, I couldn't get enough of it. Um, like I said, that was the first trip that I went on. And it was a little bit easier because I planned out everything and I did what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go somewhere, I did it. If I wanted to, uh, you know, spend money on something, I could go ahead and do it. There's nobody that was slowing me down and telling me that, hey, you can't do this, you know. And I did have a budget. Um, I wasn't the, I was, I wasn't, wasn't the richest guy there, you know. I was working, you know, at retail at the time. And pretty much every subsequent trip after that, I still went on. I didn't really have a lot of money, but I still had a great time. Um, maybe mostly because I was in control of it and I got to decide, I got to call the shots, especially 2019, which was probably the year of trips. Um, I went on a lot of different college uh, trips, I guess, to visit my friends that were going to different colleges, UCSB, UC Davis, um, different things like that. But I definitely had a, a, a great time and, uh, and did what I wanted to do and even visited San Diego that year as well and, and fell in love with that city. So we fast forward a little bit to 2020. I did my biggest trip ever, which was basically three weeks. Um, I spent some time, you know, doing the COVID pandemic. You know, I made sure that I was free of COVID. Spent some time with my friends that were in Washington and spent some time with my friends that were in Utah. Um, and that was definitely fun as well. Um, and on that trip, I didn't really spend a lot of money. So I got to save a lot, realize what saving money on the trip was like. Um, and then if we fast forward a little bit more to the beginning of this year, um, you know, I, I took a lot of trips at the, be at, at the start of the year, I guess spring 2022. Went to a lot of different colleges, booked the hotels, um, booked the flights, everything. And it was all by myself. You know, I did it all by myself, did it on a budget. But, you know, and you'll see those videos probably soon that I, that I did there. But it, it's a lot easier when we, I guess the moral story is a lot easier when I'm, you know, planning these trips myself. And... The first time that I actually planned a trip for other people was really um, when I went to New Jersey. I took my mom on her first vacation, um, and that was to New Jersey in 2018. Um, we went to go visit some family um, and just, you know, depressed from work. I was doing spring break at the time when I was in college. And um, that planning, I did that planning. It wasn't too bad. You know, we were just visiting relatives. We got to stay with them, and we didn't go to much tourism spots, um, you know, to, you know, museums or things of that nature. Um, but that was still a fun time. It wasn't until like this year when 
uh, my friends here, you know, in this new city that I'm in, we decided to take a trip, you know, down to the university that they used to go to. And that was kind of complicated. Um, planning for other people is complicated because especially when you're in a big group and our group was around like six, seven people. Everybody has their own different perspectives. Everybody wants the different things that they want to do. And you got to understand when everybody's going to tap out and not want to continue because, you know, they're kind of getting tired or they don't have a lot of money or things of that nature. And it was very complicated, you know. Um, we had one person that we picked up at the train station. So basically, how it all, how it all went down is that we got to the college, I would say, uh, the night before. Um, you know, we, we, we had our little fun like, like we usually do. Um, and then the next day, we had to pick up somebody else from a train station, which was about an hour away, and then bring them back to the college where we continued the rest of the day with our itinerary. You know, because we only had one car, you know, the driver, uh, the person that owned the car, had to drive all the way down an hour and then an hour back, you know, pick them up and bring them back. And that was something that they weren't really comfortable with at first, which was, you know, kind of tough because we didn't really communicate that itinerary to them specifically. Um, I did not do the pl the full planning of everything. We had one of the got one of the p person in the group that was doing the planning, but it's just that they weren't really informed. Like I was informed of the itinerary, but they were not informed of the itinerary, right? And 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 you know, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. You know, that's a lot of gas, a lot of time, especially early in the morning to go ahead and pick somebody up from the train station. You know, right? There's a lot of different logistic things with that. So it's something that you have to keep in mind when you're planning for other people. Um, the whole trip ended up being really fun and, and really exciting and, 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 you know, I would say different, uh, uh, spont spontaneous and adventurous. We only planned it like two weeks before. So, of course, things are going to be kind of hard, you know, things have to be ironed out over time, right? But we are planning a few more trips in the next coming months. And I feel like for those, especially one of them is, is, is you know, visiting California and bringing them to California so they can visit for the first time and stuff. That one is going to be a lot of dip. That's going to be a lot of like weight on my shoulders to make sure that I'm taking a, I'm taking into consideration basically everything, taking into consideration of, you know, uh, of the needs, the wants, the desires, how much money they have, uh, when are they going to tap out, you know, I'm not going to be able to do everything that I want to do. I have to succumb to what they want to do as well, right? So it's a lot of different compromising that has to be done and the communication has to be there. They have to know the itinerary from the get go or be comfortable with what I'm planning. Um, hopefully it goes smooth, um, but that's basically what this, what, what this trip taught me. Um, especially, not just that, a few weeks later for New Year's, we went down to San Diego. I um, was me and some friends, some of my friends from out here and some of my friends from back home. We went to San Diego. And that trip was, uh, you know, it was, it was okay for the first half, um, but for the second half, it kind of got complicated. One of the guys was leading the whole group basically away from what we previously discussed or not being able to compromise on what they wanted to what other people wanted, you know? So it's like we went down and sat down at a restaurant for breakfast. They didn't want to eat anything on the menu. And it's like, we're already here, you know, and we got to walk how many minutes to find another place for that you want and that we all have to want to, you know? Because all of us except for one guy were okay with this place. So, you know, they ended up not eating there. So it was like they didn't really compromise with us, right? Um, so that's kind of hard, right? And they wanted to do their, the trip a different, that last part of the trip, the way that they wanted to do and didn't compromise with all of us. So that's something that you got to keep in mind as well and just plan for. Um, that was hurting the vibe a little bit, but most of the trip was pretty good except for that, um, that latter half. Um, and that's just how that person is. Um, so that's, you know, something that you got to keep in mind as well. So anyway, that's all I got for y'all today on this video. It was just talking, ranting, I guess, about planning and traveling and trips. Cause I got a lot of trips coming up too. That's y'all going to see. We're going to do some YouTube vlogs about it. Um, and then, you know, probably do some commentaries and, you know, some of, you know, I guess talking about those trips as well. So that's going to be in this spring of 2023. And we'll see you later on the next episode.